Yo, what's going on guys? It is DJ Rick Webb. We are back at it again for another wedding gig vlog. We're gonna be going back out to Friends Farm, like I said in the last video. Friends Farm two weekends in a row, and then next weekend we're at airport. It's gonna be pretty cool. But, got uh, the fit, got all the bags packed up, and like every video now, we're doing new gear updates. So, at that wedding that we're going at the airport next weekend, we need twinkle lights that hang over the drapes. So I have 60 feet worth between this and this. It's all off Amazon, link in the description down below. But we got twinkle lights to use on the drapery. We're gonna be doing drapes with twinkle lights. Continuing with the new gear updates, we're down in the garage to go over a lot of stuff that I didn't talk about that we got new in the last gig vlog as well as some new stuff for some upcoming weddings we're doing next weekend. So one kind of obvious thing, we got a lot more pipe and drape and that's because of all the pipe and drape we just did the last high school event. So we got a lot more pipe and drape exactly like a hundred more feet of it then if we pan down we have four brand new wash fx2s shave wash fx2s my absolute favorite light we're doing some ceiling wash at a wedding next weekend so you guys will see that in the next thing but we got four brand new ones two year warranty on all of them yeah i don't think i mentioned this before but i have these down here because uh these are going to go on the brand new wash fx2s these are fsl stickers that indicate that it's my gear all of my gear has this the fan has it the up light cases have it. We have main stickers on all the monograms. If I pull out my speakers, you'll see FSL logos on the speakers. The tables have it. All of the up lights have it. All of the cases have it. All of the movers have them. Even our Rockville cases have the stickers on them. It's just a quick and easy way for me to, be able to differentiate my gear from anyone else's gear when we're at events. Especially with the other guys going out and using some of my gear and some of their gear. It, it makes it a lot clearer for them too that my gear has those logos. So anyways, very, very simple wedding today. Reception, ceremony, cocktail, nothing crazy, nothing insane. We're gonna get on the road. We're gonna stop, we're gonna get some food and uh, we'll take you for the ride on this wedding day. Side note, Mario is over in Chapel Hill doing a wedding today as well. He actually has a ceremony, cocktail, reception and string bulb lighting, so cool. Hopefully I got some photos. If I got some photos, I'm gonna insert them right here. all the time when I'm out here, but uh, it's no joke. You need literally a four-wheel drive vehicle to get down here. The, the road down here is no joke. Like, we managed to pull a trailer down here last week, but, like, we were scraping left and right with the trailer. Anyways, a uh, simple wedding setup, so all we got is a truck. Let me let me walk you through here. Say hi to Drake. Drake, what's up, man? So, uh, we've already carried some gear up into the venue. We have 150 people today, so it's another big wedding. We have the catering set up here. We've got the head table set up here. And right here, again, is where we're gonna be setting up. And then we'll be doing the ceremony down there. We're gonna do all the stuff again this week. So we got a big wedding. It's uh, gonna be fun, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be exciting. Super fun, super lit. What's up guys, what's up? We are fully set up with more time than we know what to do with. We casually set up everything in about an hour and a half. Let's you walk you through what all we're doing for ceremony here at Friends Farm. A little bit different than last week because Mario currently has the ceremony rack and I haven't built the second one. I have most of the stuff here to do the second one so that build process of building the ceremony rig, the fully battery powered ceremony rig is coming soon. First off, we're back at the bar overlooking the ceremony. No alcohol today, so yeah. So here is the second dairy ceremony set up with the Yamaha MG12 mixer, which I really enjoy mixing more on this than I do on the MG6, but it is doable on the MG6 as well. So we're running mic one and mic two in right here, as well as our aux for our laptop. And then we're running a motto feed out that goes around, up, over, across and down to the LED systems Maui 5 go over there. Inside of this rack right here, you've probably seen it before in a couple of my videos, we got a Furman power conditioner up here. 
with two Audio Technica 3000 fourth gens. We open the drawer, and inside the drawer, we have both of our handhelds right here, as well as extra batteries. And our lapels go right here, but our lapels are right here waiting to run our ceremony. We already went through and scanned for the available frequencies using the mics. We got our available frequencies set up and we're already to rock and roll back here at the ceremony. Lots of chairs set up here today for 150 people at this ceremony. We're using one LD Systems Maui 5 Go right here. I love that the speaker is very like minuscule, like it pretty much hides itself at the ceremony, which is nice. Right here is that XLR coming from our main unit, 50 foot XLR. And back here, we're hooked into the LD Sissy's Power 5 Go. We also have hooked up a Alto Stealth Wireless right here, which is going to be transmitting our main reception feed to the LD Systems Maui 5 Go as well. Right now, it is turned off though. We have it muted back on the DVX drive rack. So if we go to the reception area, uh, Drake is messing around, attempting to scratch, and just learning. All right, so quick breakdown right here, right now. We got the ADJ event table too with the custom FSL sign. You guys always ask me what this thing is right here. All it is is eighth inch plexiglass cut to size with a white vinyl front and a black vinyl logo. That's all that is. Two Chavette Wash FX 2s using wireless donor DMX. Two Avante A15s atop of Rockville assist hydraulic speaker stands on stage scrims as always Furman power conditioner Hosa edge XLR cable coming all the way around both sides like that moving to the main console first off we have the foam mat if you guys have not picked up a foam mat these things are a lifesaver shout out Nick Spinelli for the advice on that you also see two XLRs sitting down there that is for the wireless mics that we're gonna grab from the uh, ceremony and we're gonna set that unit right there plug it in over here and then uh, plug our two mics in, and then we have our mics hooked up for the reception. At the top, we have the Pioneer DDJ SZ, as always. Custom Vmoto headphones on the side there. We have my iPad down here with all of my information, as well as some paperwork as well. Paperwork courtesy of Vibo. Check it out, nice and clean. Inside of the SZ case, which is a Pro X all blacked out coffin, we have a DBX drive rack PA2 which is running our three different feeds. We're only using two today though. We also have a wireless router which allows us to control the DBX drive rack with a iPad down here so that we can tune it properly. We also have two GTD audio wireless microphones down there as backups. We have the power strip built in. All the wiring is managed inside of the case itself. We have the extendable laptop stand that is right here that we can move around that my HP Spectre X 15T is sitting atop. This is a beast of a laptop, full video on this, running Serato DJ Pro. Coming around the front here, again, you can see the clean power, the power con that goes in that powers everything inside of the rack. Here are our sets of outputs from the DBX drive rack. We have set one, set two, and set three. Set one, these two are going to our mains, our Avante A15s. Set two right here is coming over to the Alto Stealth Wireless, which is transmitting that wireless signal to the LD Systems Maui 5 Go up there. We do have the event table corner shelf here supporting the other HP Spectra. This is the 13 inch T running Chave Show Express. This is also what we're gonna be using for the ceremony with virtual DJ. But we have Chave Show Express set up with all of our different color scenes for our Wash FX 2s and for our ADJ Mega Tripar Plus or Hex Par. It really doesn't matter. I have both uh, running the wireless donor to it. Uh, right there is the Chave Show Express box and the donor wireless transmitter. Pretty clean wire management. And of course, we always have the bang. The bang. We have the shot form today. Alas, that is everything for the setup behind me. Uh, it is currently, what, 3.30? It's 3.51, so we have 40 minutes until prelude for the ceremony starts. So we got time to kill. We're gonna hang out, we're gonna chill, and film some awesome content, some cinematics, and uh, take some pictures, as well as get changed and ready to go for this wedding this evening. 150 people should be a fun one.
Update. Um, well, all suited up. You saw a ceremony. We're at the cocktail portion right now. About 20 more minutes left in the cocktail, and then we're gonna do introductions and get this party rock. 150 people. Pretty religious crowd, it looks like. So um, we're gonna have fun. Drake's rock. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends. I want to welcome you to Katie and Zachary's wedding reception here at the beautiful Friends Farm. Thank you so much for coming out and joining us out there. Please make some noise. Big special day. I get a round of applause for Katie's grandma, Sharon Linville. Yeah. All right, now we also have some other special people that we need to introduce to our wedding reception. DJ, drop that track. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. All right, first up, we want to introduce our parents of the bride, Herb and Suzanne Toxin. <laughs> Next, we have our wedding party. Give it up for Ashley and Bryce. <laughs> Kaylee and Jason. <laughs> Keep your hands going for Elena and Noah. Let's make some big noise right here for our maid of honor, Elizabeth, and our best man, Brayden. We're gonna introduce the whole entire wedding party. If I can ask for everyone to please stand if you can. I want you to put your hands together, get loud, I scream if you wish, and it is my honor to introduce for the second time this evening, Mr. and Mrs. Zachary Dar. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you could all please remain seated. Someone from either me or the gear department will be around to dismiss your tables. We have a lot of people here, a lot of people to feed, so if everyone can please remain seated, and we can get through the line in an orderly fashion and get everyone fed as fast as possible. by that is like religious as in dancing is forbidden so uh, they're all still here for the most part they're just down there hanging out there's not really much you can do about it when it's DJs there are those times when you have an empty dance floor and there is nothing you can do about it keep it real with you guys so technically basically we're functioning as background music right now which is perfect cool with me it gives uh, Drake some good opportunity to practice mixing but just wanted to give you guys a little 411 on the fact that don't judge your gigs heavily that was a good transition don't judge your gigs heavily on what the, the dance floor is like some events are just like that We done. We done here. We done here. It's all over. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. You know, casual, wedding, religious, fun. Don't forget to subscribe for all the amazing, awesome content. And uh, don't forget about, I'm going to be speaking in Vegas, February 24th through the 26th for the DJ NTV conference. 
So be sure to click the link down below, check out the tickets, all that fun stuff. Anyways, guys, keep the record spinning. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.